What's going on everyone? Got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today I'm discussing the 2018 version of Suspiria. This is easily one of my most anticipated films leading into the fall season. One being you got Luca Guadagnino directing it. He made Call Me By Your Name last year. I adored Call Me By Your Name. It was one of my favorite movies of last year and now I'm finally getting to see his re reimagining of Suspiria. Now I have not seen the 1977 version. There's a couple reasons for this. One, I didn't watch the trailer for this movie. I didn't read the synopsis. I knew who was in it, and I knew who directed it, but did not know a single thing about this movie. Didn't know what it was about, didn't know what the story was going to entail, and I didn't know anything about the original either. And I did this on purpose. I do plan on watching the original because now I am like so obsessed with everything that's Suspiria, and I want to get more into it. I want to see the original. I want to see this one again. But I also am going to make this review very vague. I am not going to give the synopsis because I want you guys to go into the film like how I did and understand everything that I found out about it. I want you guys to go into this movie with the lowest of knowing anything possible. That's the best way to experience this movie. And even when I walked out afterwards, I actually said to myself, I kind of wish I would have known a little bit more about it. But now thinking upon it, I don't. This film is very unique in the way that it, you experience it. It's one of the most unique experiences that I've ever had watching a film in a theater. And a lot of that comes to the being that the way that Luca Guadagnino directs it tells the story and the way that he shot the film. There's This film would not work without his direction. And I do understand if someone comes to me and says, I absolutely hated this movie. I'll totally get your aspects. I'll totally understand why you hated it. But also, if someone comes to me and agrees with me and they're like, I totally love this movie, I'll totally agree with them and understand why. I loved Suspiria. I, I think this is... I, I don't like to throw around the term masterpiece, but it's pretty damn close to it. And there's a lot of things of why I think it's that. One, the reason is so enchanting. It's like a spell was put over you 30 minutes into the movie and you are like in just enhanced within this movie. No matter how grotesque or bloody it might get, which it does... You're just enchanced and enhanced into this movie that you just can't look away. You're just mesmerized by everything that's going on. And this film had me in a mesmerizing sense where I just couldn't look away from the screen. And I was so just obsessed with the story. I was obsessed with the characters. I was obsessed with the world that Luca Guadagnino developed into this movie. And all the symbolism and the hidden meanings that are obviously in this film that I want to delve into. I want to analyze the hell out of this movie and keep going into detail about it. Again, it's a unique experience that I've never had in the theater before, at least not in a very long time. And it's one of those films that I, even though I know I didn't know every single thing about it, and you're not going to leave the theater knowing everything about it, it's things that it leaves open for you to follow and figure out for yourself and to think about. This is a very much a film that des deserves and needs all your attention span. You can't be pulling out your phone and looking through it. You can't be talking to a friend throughout it. This is a film that I think if you were even intrigued to see and to give a shot, to give this film, because you have to give yourself to this movie. This is a two and a half hour run movie. This is a two and a half hour movie that you really need to give yourself to, put away all distractions and watch it. The theater experience is probably the best way to experience this movie. One of the biggest reasons of that being is the fact that there's no distractions in the theater. Hopefully, if you don't get anyone annoying in your theater, but I could never imagine watching this film at home and it being the same. And this film had me in a mesmerizing trance where I just couldn't look away. I was so obsessed with everything going on and it's been stuck in my head for the last few days. Usually I go home, I review the film right afterwards, but no, I sat on the film, I thought about it, and I sat to myself and said, man, I really like this film. And then I started talking about it more. I'm like, man, I really love this film. And that's where I'm at now. Me and my friend got out of this theater, which I do recommend. See it with a friend. Um, because me and my friend started talking about this. And me and her just had a lot of the same opinions. But we were just kept going back and forth. And the way that we just got so obsessively talking about it, it kind of was like we were talking about religion. Because there's so many different things going about a religion, and I'm not going to get into that, obviously, but it's crazy what this film has done to us. And it's crazy what it's done to other people that I know that I've talked to and discussed this film with. Unique in that aspect, and again, how the story is told. Again, it's not just Luca Guadagnino's directing that just makes this film superb, because this directing is excellent. 
excellent. The way that he shoots the film is very much an old classic horror film. The way that he just moves the camera, the way it moves around, the way he sets the camera down, it is outstanding what the guy has done with the camera in here. And it really goes back to that Italian horror that we do get. And yes, this is a horror film, but it's not scary. It's not like I'm out of my seat scared. No, it's very much psychological and it screws with your head. Again, it screwed with mine to the point where I'm still thinking about this movie. There's imagery in here that you will not forget. There's some things in here I was like, what the hell is going on? And I'm still trying to piece it all together. And there's some weird, grotesque, bloody moments in here. I was like, wow, this is a lot of blood. Again, it doesn't feel overly grotesque. It feels like it fits the tone of the movie and everything that's going on within it. But the film would be nothing without its performances. And I mean, my God, my God, Dakota Johnson is excellent in here. She gives easily the best performance of her career so far. I mean, she's had a very short filmography with not being in the best films, but she's outstanding in here. Tilda Swinton's always great, but honestly, the big standout for me was Mia Goth. She obviously appeared in A Cure for Wellness, I think, last year, and I really liked her in A Cure for Wellness. I, I, the film itself was just fine for me, but I found her to be so intriguing in here, and in this film, she's even better. I cannot wait to see what she does next. She was great. A lot of you guys are probably saying, oh, that, that's a long runtime, two hours and 30 minutes. It is, and at times, you do feel it, but there was never one point in the film where I wanted to walk out. There was never one point in this film where I was like, oh, okay, I, I'm ready to leave. I, I can't do this anymore. Again, I, I just felt mesmerized and tranced. And I will understand if you hate this film, and I'll understand if you love this film. It's a very different and unique film that it's not for everyone. Definitely not for everyone. It's hard for me to recommend on that. But I think if you, if you yourself are looking for a film to go watch in a theater and have a very unique experience about, Suspiria is your movie. It's unique, it's enchanting, it's mesmerizing, it's obsessive. And at times, if you think the film's bad, you probably think it's boring, horribly made, horribly acted, and all that. But I don't think any of that. I find this film to work on all levels. It's easily one of the best films of the year. I'm gonna give Suspiria an A+. Suspiria itself, I really do think it's a masterpiece. There isn't one scene I would have taken out. There isn't one thing I would have removed from the film. There isn't one thing I would have changed. I can't imagine any other director reimagining the original and not wait to rewatch this film and also watch the original and see all the differences and see everything that Luca took into changes because this film, it's something and it's going to be sticking with me for the rest of the year. Guys, what are your guys' thoughts on Suspiria? Have you guys seen the original? Are you guys excited for the new one? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. Of course, let's be nice, please. If you didn't like this film, please tell me why. I totally understand why. And if you love this film just as me, let's talk about it. Let's have a lovely discussion down below in the comments, or maybe a very bloody discussion. Let's see how it goes. If you're new here, hit that like and subscribe button, because I do tons of movie reviews like this. Plus, you guys can go hit up Sandwich on Films also down below, because right down there, you guys can get into advanced movie screens. Even check out some movie news and even some movie reviews but guys of course until next time stay classy